Hi everyone, what is going on? My name is Jamie Palmer and welcome to another episode with the Binary Show 7.0. Now, before you say anything, yes, I need to shave and yes, my hair is terrible. A lot of people commented in my last video saying that um, who on earth cut my hair? And the answer was me because I don't trust my partner cutting it. Uh, and as you can see, I am clearly not a hairdresser. Uh, so that will be getting sorted out very soon when the hairdressers open up. Now, in today's video, we're going to do some binary. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing binary today, and that is because I'm teaching my partner it, okay? If you don't know, I'm teaching my partner to trade. And, um, and yet, yeah, the biggest issue I found with teaching my partner, and I say this is the same with every other BD member, is they don't follow the rules. You know, I, I tell my girlfriend to do this, you know, when a certain arrow appears outside the zone with a support and resistance, okay, and she doesn't trade that. She trades random stuff. And I go, why are you doing that? And she goes, because I didn't get an arrow outside the zone. That's why. And I said, if you didn't get an arrow outside the zone, don't take the trade. So in today's, because in fact today is training Wednesday. So straight after this video, we're going to have a live webinar with the BD members. Uh, and we're going to have my girlfriend sitting here. And we're going to go over the basics of price action and the binary to show you. Okay. Basic stuff like RSI overbought or sold. You know, candlestick patterns. The right arrows to take. Support and resistance. Okay. Because, you know, it just always gets missed in trading you know you say to do one thing and traders do another thing okay and yeah uh, i basically been teaching my girlfriend binary because it helps her to kind of find entry points in the market and once she feels comfortable with that obviously we'll move on to forex where where money is made now i'll show you her results today uh, she, in all fairness to my partner okay she actually keeps so this is my results for my partner today. And as you can see, they're quite good. And in all fairness to her, she actually keeps a journal of her trading here. Um, you know, every single day, look, you can see here, she keeps a journal of her trading, which is exactly what you should be doing, okay? And as you can see, my partner, for instance, has decided to draw a load of lines on the charts, thinking they're support and resistance, um, mm, which they're not. <laughs> So I'm gonna go over to everything, okay? And we're gonna look for some setups. Now, the first thing I do when I'm doing some trading, especially binary, is I'm looking for um, I'm looking for signals outside the zone, okay? So like here, okay? It's a good one. Uh, obviously, we missed this setup at the top. Look at that beautiful double setup here. Okay, uh, this setup here. Look at that. Okay, the we've obviously got the MACD is oversold. Uh, it's confirmed that with a signal here, and we have a nice little signal here. This is the double signal confirmation, which is really good. We've actually got another one here. Look at that, another double signal here. Great for five, ten minute expiries there. So I missed those setups there. USD CAD, nothing's happening there. USD JPY, USD JPY was a nice little setup there. That was nice. GP CAD. Nothing's happening with GP CAD. Uh, okay. USD Chef gave us a nice little sell. Euro USD. Okay. Euro USD is in the sell zone. Great. Okay. So instantly I'm going to be trading Euro USDs today uh, and GP CAD. I've got two lots of GP CAD on here. Let's get rid of one of them. Okay, so your USD looks like the pair I'm going to be trading today. Uh, we had some nice little sells here. Look at that again, okay. Notice how we pop some signals and the RSI and MACD confirms that. That is really nice sells there. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do everyone is I'll pause the video and I'll come back very, very soon when we get some setups and we'll do some old school binary trading. So I'll pause the video everyone and I'll be back. Hi everyone, uh, so I'm not getting much on my charts today, it seems to be a little bit slow on trading, uh, but obviously this is my partner's account and I want to show her some wins because uh, she seems to be obviously struggling with consistency, but I think that's purely down to the fact she's not following the rules. Now I took a quick uh, three minute buy on NZJPY, okay, if I just move that over there, you can put this here, okay. Uh, basically, the reason for this, okay, is notice how we've just crossed over 
on the MACD and RSI line, okay? So the price is oversold, okay? We've just crossed over the RSI, which is the red one, has crossed over the blue one, which is the MACD line, uh, and we should see a small buy happening in the next couple of minutes. Um, obviously, you can see here how the TCA line starting to turn red, uh, green, which obviously symbolizes uptrend. We're obviously above the TCA line as well. Now, this does not meet any of the rules, okay? Uh, this is purely me just using a bit of price action and using the indicator to my advantage, uh, obviously using the TCA line. Notice how we're above the TCA line and we're starting to turn green. And then also notice how the RSI and MACD has crossed over there. Um, I was hoping for some signals on, hold on here, I've got a, uh, just to let you know, I've got a 10 week old puppy here, look at that, say hello everyone, this is Nala, you, you want to learn to trade? So I just had to put Nala out. Okay, so let's go back to NZ, what was it, NZJPY, okay. Uh, so yeah, okay, we are pushing up. Look at that. Okay, second green arrow, which is good. Hopefully they stay green in the next couple of minutes or the next 50 seconds, let's say. Uh, look at it. You notice here, look how the RSI and MACD lines come back over. Uh, so this is a good trade. Okay, uh, we are, if you actually zoom in on the bigger picture, if I just pop this over like that, okay. You can see how we had a nice little sell signal here. This was at that double hour confirmation. Uh, we've dropped down slowly, but because this is still an uptrend, the momentum is still strong. Uh, we're still probably gonna push up a little bit higher, maybe form a double top pattern. Uh, but I mean, those are two wins back to, oh, hopefully. Uh, Come on, stay there. Nice, nice. Three, two, one. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Push up there. So two wins in the bag. I'll see if I can find another couple more wins uh, and then we'll call that a day. Obviously, you know, my idea is. So what I'm going to do is I'll set my charts like this again, everyone, so you can actually see. Um... But you see, look, nothing's really, I mean, look, U USD Chefs just formed a nice little double bottom in the zone here, which is good. Okay, that's a nice little double bottom area. If I just get rid of this, um, you can see how we've actually got, uh, old, old completely deleted the Bino Destroyer, hold on. Uh, on USD Chef, we formed a nice little double bottom pattern here. Okay, just there, you can see here. But again, okay, we're in no man's land. The MACD and RSI isn't really telling me a lot uh, with these kind of signals. So, I mean, that's a trade that I would avoid. Uh, but apart from that, everyone, I mean, nothing really else is happening on the chart today. It seems to be very, very quiet. Um, so what I'll do, everyone, is I'll pause the video, okay, and I'll be back very soon with an update. So, yes, I'll be back. Hi everyone, uh, so again, I'm not getting many signals, but I've just took a quick sell on GPUSD uh, and that'll probably be me done for the day. Um, reason being, okay, because there's a very kind of, you'll probably ask me, ask me why you're taking this trade here. Okay, and again, this is more to do with the price action rather than the buy and destroyer, okay? So I'm just gonna pop this here. As you can see, I've gone for a 10 minute expiry and it's dropped nicely, exactly what I plan to do, okay? So, to pretty much sum it up to you, okay, basic support and resistance, okay, uh, as you can see, if I just draw this area of here, okay, notice how price broke this area of support, chopped around for a bit, we had a bounce, 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 we then come back down, retouch, come back down, retouch, form a kind of double top pattern here, on this resistance area because it was originally support and then we dropped. The reason why I entered it was based on the MACD and RSI giving me a lot of sell signals here. Now these are not signals to enter the market. This is just telling me diversion has appeared. If I actually, I mean, I'll give you an example, okay? If I actually just pause the video. 
Right, so that's better. Okay, so as you can see here, okay, these arrows represent diversions. And as you can see here, uh, you can see the lines now, diversions, okay. So this is telling me uh, a lot of things, okay. So first of all, we've got a break and retest of a support and resistance area, this line here. Second confirmation is obviously we formed a double top pattern off a resistance line and the final confirmation is obviously diversion signals here uh, you know when you start getting a lot of confirmation signals like this uh, especially around a support and resistance area nine times out of ten it's good it's telling me the market's slowing down bouncing off the resistance area and now we're going to drop and that is why obviously i've gone for a 10 minute expiry and it's deep deep in the money so i'll wait for this to close uh, and then that will be the end of the video and hopefully my partner can watch this video back and actually see how I've managed to find free trades in the time that it's took her to do nothing. So yeah, I'll pause the video, I'll be back very shortly. So uh, 30 seconds to go on this, as you can see price has slightly pulled up and then dropped again. Maybe I should have gone for a less expiry time, I wonder if I can go for less than 10 minutes. I'll go for five minutes. So I think five minutes would have been too short. Uh, but I mean, 10, set, 10 minutes seems to be working well. So yes, as you can see, three nil in the bag. Obviously, apologies that we didn't get an actual binary choice set up. Obviously, markets just kind of not really happening much today. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, drop me an email at the binary at gmail.com. Mm -hmm.